Okay, so we're focusing on this text box here. I'll just move this out of the way. Now, the tools that we're going to be using are the selected layer here to make sure that we've actually selected that layer that we want to modify. We probably need to move it around a little bit, so that's the move tool. And uh, we have this move the active layer, so that's so uh, that is the active layer, move the active layer, and the move tool selected should allow us to move that. Yep. Um, and um, so I'm just going to align that with the, um, the, the line of the door here. And you can see I need to rotate it a little bit so that it actually lines up. So that's what I'm going to do um, first. I'll do that first. Yep. Okay, so what we need to do is select the rotate tool there. So that's selected there now. Um, and uh, now what I can do is just rotate that. Now I don't need to rotate it very much, just move that out of the way. I can actually use this to precisely control the rotation. It's going to be um, one or maybe you Yeah, that's too much. So let's bring it back to one degree. There. That's good. So that's just a tiny bit rotated. Okay. And um, now what we want to do is alter the perspective so that that top line is about parallel or maybe a little bit, um, a little bit sort of further up in perspective compared to that top of the fridge there and this this bottom line has to go up here almost sort of parallel to the bottom line so you can see that over here um, so the perspective tool is this one okay so we select our box here move this thing out of the way now what we do is we play with the corners here um, I'll just move that right out of the way so first thing I'm going to do is um, alter the angle of this bottom here like that Yep, see, I can just sort of move it up and it distorts the whole thing. So I'm just going to angle the bottom like uh, oh, about, about, about there. Yep, and then the top one, I'm going to do that as well, just a little bit up like that. Yep, and then transform. There. And so that, that gives the impression that it, it, uh, it's got the p proper perspective with respect to the fridge. And that's all there is to it. The interesting thing though is um, uh, if, I want to, um, if I want to edit that text, I can. It'll turn that back into a text box, but it actually undoes the transform. And that's really all there is to it. So now I'm ready to save the image. So I'll just move these toolboxes out of the way here. Make the image the right size, so you can see the whole thing, more or less, yep, and um, there you have it, uh, and the original was over here, yep, just the edge of it. So that's looking good, and so now I'm ready to save that image, and I'm going to save it as, bring the save box over here so you can see it. Uh, I could save it as a JPEG or I could save it as um, a PNG. Okay, either one will, f will be fine. So let's do that. Save. Ah, now in the Windows version of the GIMP, uh, it operates slightly differently. And uh, I'm usually um, using the Mac version and what I've just done would work fine there. But what we do need to do in the Windows version of the GIMP is actually export so sorry about that so what I need to do is export yep. slightly different dialog box there and now I can do it as a PNG or a GIF either is fine and um, call that two different file name export it and press export there. And that's 
done.